Hey guys, welcome to Rotter 2 Brief. This is Steve. So today I just wanted to show you a um, little behind the scenes. You've seen this room a little bit in the past. It's the laundry room and here is my BRS RODI filter um, making some water now. I'm just going to take you guys through this, um, especially for those who don't make their own water. I like to make my own water because I like to be in control of the whole process. I know what I'm getting. I know that our water here is great from the start. Excellent drinking water. It's rated one of the best in Chicago, our area. So very little metals. I went to the website for the water plant and I it's public information. You can get um, all the stats on what the water has. <clears throat> it's also best to test your water too, by the way. But the all the metals and the minerals and the, the metals and the minerals and the fluoride and everything in the tank it the tank in the water it's it's really pretty low but it's still it's still the thing to do to filter your water and that's what this unit is here three chambers the water is going to come from the faucet I've shown you this before. The RODI unit, the filtration unit for the water, comes with this, right? So this goes through the three chambers here. One, two, three, you've got your carbon and the fine media filtration. And then bad water goes down the drain. By the way, your water bill does not go any higher. At least mine doesn't anyway. I was very surprised. In fact, the water bill went lower when I started doing this. I don't know. Hope the water company isn't watching. All right, and then I've got the blue line, which is the pure water. It's plumbed into this. And I just drilled into where I knew 10 gallons was. I just took two of these five-gallon jugs, filled it with water. And where the water line was, that's where I drilled a hole... And I put this float valve in there on the other side. The float valve goes up and down with the water. And when the water level reaches this mark, it cuts off the water. So if you forget to turn off the water, as we all do, it won't flow up, especially and flood your house in the middle of the night when you're sleeping and you forgot to turn this off. So that's great. It works awesome. Um, I do turn it off when I'm not home. Because I don't, I just want to be safe. I trust it. But I just want to be safe. There is salt in the bottom of this. I just added salt because I'm doing a water change today. And that's the main point of this video. So you've got your pure water coming in. You're going to mix your salt. And I use Instant Ocean Sea Salt. I tried the reef crystals. Reef crystals have more minerals in the salt for your coral. I don't have much coral, so I don't really need it. I've used Instant Ocean for ever. It's all I've ever used. And let me turn the water off because you can. I can tell it's done. Um, some of the largest aquariums to the public, such as the Shedd Aquarium downtown, they use Instant Ocean. I can't imagine how many gallons of salt they go through, like, weekly. Um, or any aquarium for that matter. But anyway, I'm, I love this stuff, but I'm going to order some today. And the main reason behind this video is I want to know what you guys use. I've done a lot of reading. I know that Red Sea is very popular. I'm thinking about trying Red Sea. Again, I don't need the extra minerals. But the good thing about Red Sea is, from what I've read, it dissolves like almost instantly, like within 15 minutes of adding it to the water. Another important thing, when you use your own salt and you mix especially with instant ocean you, you can't just put it in and stir it and put it in your tank let it settle let it mix I've got a pump in there power head um, I'm sorry a pump and it's 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 churning that water it's mixing it so in about 12 hours it'll be clear and then I'll do a water change tomorrow so I put the salt in, 24 hours later, I do a water change. It's Red Sea, I believe you can do it within an hour. But um, let me know what you guys use. Red Sea is almost twice. I'm getting, that. now I keep this canister from Instant Ocean, 
and I get a box that's good for 200 water changes, 200 gallons worth of salt in a box. It comes in like three or four big bags, and I just keep my original bucket, and I just put a bag in there at a time. It lasts me a two or three, three months easily, easily three months, um, maybe four, but... Red Sea, you get a little less, and you're paying double. I can get 200 gallons worth of water changes for Instant Ocean for like $38 on Amazon, and that's shipped for free to my front door. I don't have to drive anywhere. I don't have to lift it up. I feel bad for the UPS guy or girl, but, you know, it's on my porch in three days for free delivery, no tax, $38. Can't beat that. I think the Instant Ocean is 78 bucks. I'm sorry, the Red Sea is 78 bucks. I don't know. Is it worth it? Do I want to try it? Will the water be better? What do you guys use? It's either going to be Instant Ocean. I've really just been wanting to try Red Sea. And of course, I'm going to introduce it over time, like the course of like half a dozen water changes. Um, so let me know. That's it. And then the only other thing I do is I'll add... From Bulk Reef Supply, calcium chloride, it's calcium crystals. I'll add a half a cup once a week when I do a water change. And I don't dose anything, but that's the only thing I add. Now when you do your water changes and you add your salt, the trace elements are gonna be added automatically. The reason why I dose um, the calcium crystals in my water when I do a water change is because I have, as you guys know, a lot of kick-ass, um, Coralline algae, the purple on the rock, and that stuff thrives on the calcium. So do the corals, but coralline algae, since I have so much of it, I want to keep my calcium at 450 to 500, so that stuff just thrives. In the bucket back there, you just have like miscellaneous hoses. I've got my siphon to um, vacuum the, the sand. I vacuum it into this five gallon. I dump this in the neighbor's lawn, and then I've got a a pump in there that is mixing the salt and it pumps the water out into my tank which is on wheels so I wheel this across the house cannot pick it up with one person two people would be a pain I've got it on wheels that's it just wanted to give you a quick behind the scenes a quick 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 behind the scenes let me know your thoughts on the salt and what you use and whatever again I went to the reef crystals from instant ocean and it, you know it's kind of not worth it I saw no change um, my tank looks great. Um, just wondering what your thoughts are on Red Sea. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button if you dig the channel. New video every weekend. Happy reefing.